Hi, congratulations to us. We are a family of 50k right now. You know, my happiness, you can see it right here. So today, what do we have? Skincare? More skincare. Okay, so I have been trying out a few things lately, like all these things I didn't buy this month. Some of these things I bought this month, but few things were there. Took me some time to try this out and yeah, here they are, the reviews. What do you want to see? Oh, cleansing balm? Cleansing? Cleansing cleanser. So for that, I have this true frog cleansing gel. I like it very much. It doesn't sting my eyes. Great thing because lately I tried this Neurogena cleansing oil. This is good. That Neurogena one, that one is, I'm loving it, but it stings my eyes. I mean, not that much, but it does. But this one, this cleansing gel, it doesn't. Now you're gonna tell, okay, Shamapti, that's cleansing oil. This is cleansing gel. Well, this both are kind of similar. Both of these are first cleansers, and this one has shea butter ester as the first ingredient. So if your skin doesn't like shea butter or shea butter derived ingredients, then it might not be for you. But my skin does well with shea butter or any ingredients that is derived from shea butter. And this is a wash of stuff, so I don't think it should cause an issue. But yeah, I learned from many people that shea butter gave them fungal acne. So yeah, this is something you should know. So this gel has beta carotene, which gives this gel this yellow tint. Okay, now how to use this? Very easy. You just need to splash water on your skin then you gotta massage this for one minute then you rinse it off follow up with a second cleanser and you are done it removes sunscreen makeup dirt quite effectively but i noticed it leaves this thin film on my skin like with that neutrogena one cleansing oil I don't have that, you know, thin or thick film on my skin. Like the residue is not there. But with this one, I've noticed it leaves this residue, like oil, like very thin oil kind of residue behind. But I don't mind it because I am going to follow up with a second cleanser and it goes away with the second cleanser. So yeah, this is something you should know too. Now you're going to ask me, Shamapti, which one you like most? Uh, this one or the Neutrogena one? the neutrogena one because i like the texture of that neutrogena more first i just feel it works better for my skin my skin feels softer with that neutrogena one and performance wise both of these things are same but yeah the true frog one doesn't sting my eyes but to be very honest i rarely use um, eye makeup so i don't have to go hard on my eyes you know with cleansing oils so i'm kind of okay with the neutrogena one but if you use eye makeup and you really need to get in there maybe the neutrogena one cause some trouble for you you might find that to be stinging but when i review the neutrogena one there are people who told me they didn't find the stinging sensation with the neutrogena one so i don't know what's going on if it is just me or but yeah so the modern story is i like the original one more <laughs> but yeah this one is uh, good too the true frog one if you're looking for something indian do you like your first cleanser to be a little thick and you don't want your first cleanser to sting your eyes at all then this one might help you out okay I'm kind of clumsy let's talk about body care stuff all right i have few here so i never tried body yogurt before so i wanted to try some so i did so body yogurt it is something it's like a gel moisturizer for the body it absorbs quite well it is lightweight hydrating moisturizing but not like body butters i bought this two body yogurt this one is from plum and this one is from the bath store and i like this one more i'm gonna tell you why right now so the bath store one when i ordered this from amazon what happened the first uh, jar i got it was leaking 
like anything so i had to reach out to the customer care and they replaced it what i did i looked for the reviews and i have noticed few people had this issue with this brand i mean they received faulty packaging and performance wise it is not that bad wedding this is very lightweight i do not like the smell of it this is strawberry i have tried the strawberry line from the body shop it is way 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 more delicious but this one is kind of may not that moisturizing for my skin though it absorbs quite well so i'm not gonna buy this again to be very honest and then i bought this one from plum okay this is the body loving vanilla vibe body yogurt and i really like their vanilla line uh, their body butter from this line then their sugar scrub is my favorite and this one is quite good the texture is good and it moisturizes well it is hydrating and it absorbs really really fast and i like the smell i i do like the smell and i love their body butter from this line too it is kind of thick so if you want something thicker and more moisturizing you can go for the body butter but if you're looking for something light you can go for this body yogurt i mean i think the body yogurt is gonna be great for daytime and the body butter is gonna be great for nighttime during the summer but winter is coming and for winters i do not think the body yogurt is gonna be enough i'm gonna stick to body butters for the winters but for summers can be very good but i tried other stuff from plum that did not work for me i'm gonna show you sorry for the noise okay i'm gonna show you right now so this is their avocado freeze control serum i'm just disappointed actually i applied this on my hair you can tell it's looking oily and this is the thing with the serum when i apply it little it doesn't do anything and when i apply like little much i mean it makes my hair oily it's very confusing i mean i do not like this i'm not gonna buy this again and i do not know how to finish it it doesn't do anything for my hair you know it makes my hair oily i use this on wet hair it was even more horrible that way on dry hair it works somewhat but it doesn't control freeze when i'm in a conditioned room it is okay but when i go out the humidity makes my hair like <laughs> i mean it doesn't work i mean didn't work for me i don't know if it's gonna work for you or not it looks like sticky greasy lifeless sad so yeah <laughs> okay so next i got this one this was a very random purchase i went to a chemist shop and i saw this one the name caught my eyes nmf natural moisturizing factor so i bought it it is moisturizing it is soothing but the scent is overbearing i do not like the scent sometimes it feels sticky too so i'm i'm kind of confused initially i really liked it but the more i used it the more trouble i faced like the sticky part and the smell i do not like the smell the ingredients list are i mean they have separated the key ingredients from the other ingredients but i think they have mentioned the four ingredients and overall it's okay it's good moisturizing soothing but i don't like the smell like i told you and it's sticky sometimes so i'm not gonna buy this again so next i shouldn't buy things like skincare stuff for the packaging but this time i did just look at it it's so cute this is kimi rika and i found this on amazon and the name is so interesting how holiday smells it smells really really good but it is not nourishing 
it is not i want my hand cream this is a hand cream by the way did i tell you so i want my hand cream to be more nourishing this is not my hands they feel dry in like 30 minutes after applying this one so i'm like uh why but the smell is very really good it's not like those you know, very stereotypical floral or very sweet smell it has aquatic notes very fresh very holiday like i love the smell if they come up with a mist body mist or perfume i'm gonna buy that but i do not like this as a hand cream so yeah not gonna buy this again but i'm gonna keep this tube with me this is so good it looks so beautiful and for hand cream i've been loving this one this is Sera Soft. Actually, I got the recommendation for this one from my comment section. This is fragrance free, but they don't mention the full ingredients list. They only have mentioned the key ingredients, so I didn't put it on my face. But I have been using this for my hands, and this is very, very moisturizing. Now I have this brand Quench, and you recommended me this. I did not like this stuff, to be very honest. And this is one Indian brand i got this things like people thought it is a korean brand but it is not i share the information on my community tab and i think it is a sister brand of this one sugar cosmetics so their uh, sika patches like pimple patches they do not work that well to be very honest i use cosrx pimple patches when i suspect you know one pimple is gonna pop up even when i have white heads i use that in a pimple patch from Cosrx it works most of the times like 99% of the times but this one is a May it has salicylic acid it also has tea tree uh, oil actually I do not like EO in my Levon facial care stuff but I thought okay it is a spot treatment it has other ingredients too so it might work see it didn't irritate my skin but it is not the best um, pimple control patch and i used quite a lot of it i wanted to give it a try and i just didn't see it working that well and sometimes it's so difficult to pull it you know i like it hurts like cosrx one they like come up easily than this one it's like difficult so yeah didn't work for me i would recommend cosrx pimple patches over this any day and then i tried their uh, gel mask I love the texture of this mask. The texture is so, 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 so good. But it irritates my, this area. I mean, whenever I apply this, I get whiteheads. So I'm gonna sand, you know, I love the texture. The ingredients are okay. And I wanted it to work. They are calling this to be exfoliating gel. They have used natural extracts. So we don't know how much like the percentage of AHA would be there to exfoliate our skin really and it didn't do anything for my skin when i put it it feels soothing for some time but then my this area starts like stinging a bit and when i remove it i get up next day i get white heads so i'm not gonna buy this again next i have another face mask this is from Dedoxy. i heard a lot about this and i think rubina likes the shampoo a lot and cream as well i am sure those things are wonderful but this face mask i didn't like it much the texture is kind of sticky it didn't dry out my skin that much i just i'm not living for it you know it is not something i look forward to use on my skin and it is very difficult to remove use those cleansing pads if you are like using just water to remove it it's kind of difficult because it's kind of sticky you know the whole texture i like clay masks those are like smooth glides easily it doesn't glide easily so no not gonna buy this again the ingredients are decent but as a glow restore face pack it didn't give me any glow to be very honest and i'm kind of disappointed with this one okay so next i have this body lotion this is nude and it has this natural AHA from goat milk the thing is they didn't mention the full ingredients i got this recommendation for this body lotion from my comment section and so i went ahead and bought this because i had so many good stuff for this and this is quite moisturizing and everything but they have not mentioned the full ingredients they have not and second i think this brand is owned by this one everteen 
and I do not like Ever 10 at all as a brand and this is a sister brand so I do not know what to think about it that they have not mentioned the full ingredients list but the texture is good it moisturizes my skin well it is not sticky I kinda enjoy it about AHA we cannot be sure how much AHA it has I prefer a body lotion with lactic acid mandelic acid any day over this Will I buy this again? No. I recommend Vinsuya Moisturizer. Record. I love Aveeno. So, I do not think I'm gonna buy this again, but this is not a terrible stuff. And the thing is actually, this is a sister brand to Everteen. That kind of like makes me like... Come on, Okay, so next I had this bubble from. I don't know what to say about this brand because they don't have the license printed on the packaging. And I don't think they have license, like manufacturing license. But manufacturing license, you can see the video over here. Why I find this thing to be very important. Because I want some kind of regulation over my skincare stuff. I don't want to shade any brand because I understand somewhat it is very difficult to start a business or continue it but it is a business so i'm paying my money and i won't invest my money where i don't feel safe and i don't feel safe with the brands that don't mention the full ingredients and it came in this box so even it didn't have anything written on it so i looked for it and i contacted the brand they didn't respond me so I just don't trust the brand to be very honest without the manufacturing license or anything. I do not like, you know, this, you know, handmade with love, uh, homemade to be the only selling point. I want regulation. I want science. I want to know my skincare is made by a good formulator. I mean, at least they have some regulation. Very, very disappointed. And see, uh, even I was approached by a brand. They don't have the license. They wanted to like pay me for making a content about their brand. I refused. And this is something I am not comfortable promoting on my channel, like paid or unpaid, the license wise. And this thing like chemical free, this and that. I mean, <sighs> I refuse to believe you don't know about the basic science that everything is made of chemicals. I mean the water is made of hydrogen and oxygen, like everything is made of chemicals. I mean they can write, they if they want to, they can write like harmful chemicals that may make sense, but no chemicals like, you know, and this is like they know things you know they just want this to be a selling point because there are like many people they don't know about stuff if they don't know about the basic formulation then how can i trust about their stuff like how can i trust their product on my skin and the thing is you know there are many people the consumer base they think chemicals are bad so i read this quote somewhere that is easier to fool someone then convincing the person that the person is being fool. There are bands who are like making people fool because it's difficult to argue that you know all chemicals are not bad. Like chemical free is like it's a wrong term then even paraben thing you know paraben free this free that free. I just don't like this even with this soap. This is from Born Organics and they have this no chemicals claim. If these brands are ignorant, then simply don't trust this stuff on my skin because they don't know about the basic formulation. And if they are not ignorant, they are doing this on purpose, then they think we are fools. And about this Born Organics uh, soap, I love the packaging. It was wrapped in a cotton cloth. I loved it but this soap is very drying you know i think now my skin is used to like more gentle body cleansers and this soap is kind of harsh for my skin when i'm oiling my body before sharding then i'm using a sugar scrub then it is like kind of okay but when i'm using this on its own it is drying it's really drying i love the smell though it has this sandal like sweet sandal like smell to it but it is drying so i'm not gonna buy this again okay next i have this lip mask from swiss beauty i bought this like two months back i think 
it is quite good i really have been trying innisfree lip mask i prefer that over this but this one is way more affordable than the innisfree green tea lip mask if you're looking for something affordable in like lip mask category then it can be nice <laughs> okay so all of a sudden you were thinking why i look like this i slept you know i was feeling thirsty so i got up and i slept like i took a nap it was a bad nap and i'm back you know i'm really hating my hair because it feels so oily and greasy it's just you know very weird i hate the serum hate it feel confused like really confused but i have things to do so moving on next i have this two things from want i heard so much about this brand so i wanted to try something and i got two things that's when i went to buy this barrier boost face formula their baff something they call it uh, i came to know they launched this one calm cream it has good amount of centella so i bought this one too and my experience has been um let me tell you so this one has bakuchi oil actually it has bakuchi oil i'm not that hyped up about this ingredient to be very honest people like claim that it is natural retinol i'm like okay i'm not just not that too hyped up about bakuchi oil or this bakuchi oil then it has ceramide complex very good uh, biopeptide amino acids very very good and i like the texture of it so this one is thicker than this one a little bit thicker all right and i don't know how to use it some use this as moisturizer some use this as serum and some use this as emulsion for me it is not moisturizing enough to be just a moisturizer so i use this as a, a moisturizing serum then i go in with a moisturizer and this one it makes my skin tingle i don't like that you know i do not like that but it didn't give me any skin irritation but whenever i apply this i have this tingling sensation on my skin and i do not like this so i'm not gonna buy this again so the ingredients list is quite nice and this calm cream is i prefer this over this one so this is a cream but again it doesn't you know for me it is not enough moisturizing to be just a moisturizer so i use this as a what do you call it moisturizing serum it's like that one from doctor said their sika the centella and ceramide serum that one gave me white hairs but this one works fine for me this calm cream has sika extract oats qualane pentavin but alone it doesn't work as a cream you know maybe if you have like oily skin or normal skin my skin used to be like super dry now it's like dry but not super dry there are days it feels just normal there are days my this area feels like a little oily so yeah but for me it doesn't moisturize enough but as a moisturizing serum it works otherwise this is nice the ingredients list is quite good and these are fragrance free and okay one more thing i need to tell you so you have to finish this cream once you open the dhakkan you have to use this within two to three months so if you are very slow at finishing your skincare product then it's gonna be an issue i'm like i finish my skincare product quite fast because if you see me using moisturizer i use like this much because my skin likes it that way you might buy this again their calm cream but this one barrier boost of uh, face formula i don't like the fact that it makes my skin tingle every time i use it so i will not buy this again and if you want detailed review on this you let me know i might review this on instagram you know in details like i'll like break down the ingredients and everything and lastly i have just these two things okay three things this oxy blast facial kit i got this for free from nika I didn't have the courage to use this on my face to be very honest. They didn't mention the full ingredients, only the active things. Truly, I didn't have the courage to use it. And if you have used this, it worked for you. Let me know. If it didn't work for you, let me know. But I don't think I'm going to use this for my face, you know. And to be very honest, I find facial kits to be kind of gimmicky. 
okay so next i have um this safa virgin coconut oil and the brand they have sent me as a pr i like it i have been using safa black seed oil for long time for like five years and it changed my hair for better so i'm kind of biased towards this brand you know and this is the first pr i got from this brand safa i mean i have been using max care coconut oil which is good even this one is quite good and uh, the last thing i have is this one my father bought it you know <laughs> i was so pleasantly surprised so he was out of station for some time and he came back with khadi soaps shampoo and he had this cleansing milk i picked the cleansing milk it was like three months back i think something like that i don't remember so yeah they don't mention the full ingredients though and i used this on my face once it tingles you know and i have used better cleansing oil sorry cleansing lotions like that one from super drug and uh, this plum aloe vera cleansing lotion and there are others as well so i'm gonna stick to those things you know i'm not gonna buy this but this is very affordable for 210 ml you are paying 195 so yeah there you have it oh my god my hair looks so funny look at this look and i hope you found this to be helpful and thank you so much for watching and i'm so happy to see you then yeah take care bye bye